So, should we film? Uh, yeah, 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 because I got this one idea. Okay. We should dress up as grandmas. Oh, and then I think that would go viral, it. right? You got me setting all I know on fire. Because you are the best thing that's ever happened to me. We were those black people. <laughs> we're those black people, Nat. What are we doing, man? Oh my God, finally putting our Christmas stuff away. Like, I can't believe we're just not getting around to this, but hey, we're doing it. At we're least it's not it. up till next Christmas. You know what I'm saying? You know? And I feel like with us, God. come on, baby, give me another, I was good one. There it is, mm. give me some scooches. Mm. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure one of you that are watching right now still got your Christmas tree up or your Christmas lights something up this Christmas. Mm -hmm. But what's up? We miss y'all. What up? I know. Damn, okay. man. Talk to him. My baby. Come here. My baby. Last time y'all seen us and my baby, she passed out. Yeah, I feel like um, we needed to take a little bit of us time and just really take a break from like everything you yeah. know just because that was like very it was a very traumatic experience you know uh, for both of us especially for easy yeah so we were just we just been loving on each other right babe yes and love and appreciate each other y'all but right now we're taking down these christmas lights yeah. after we get these christmas uh tree and all the christmas stuff up we're gonna head to the dentist y'all talk to him see if she gucci like her mouth and stuff and situation Talk about our wisdom teeth and yeah, we, that's what we doing today, y'all. So come with us. Popeyes or KFC? Oh, Popeyes or KFC? <laughs> you better choose wisely, baby. Mm, I'm not gonna lie, KFC in Jamaica be hitting. <gasps> the KFC in Jamaica, <gasps> babe, you cannot say that. What? Why? How could you? What? Have you ever had the KFC in Jamaica? If you haven't, I don't want to hear nothing. No, but everybody knows Popeye's is way better than KFC. Like, it's just in my blood for you. I don't even know if I can be with you no more, bro. Like, okay. yeah, here it is. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to take someone else to <laughs> KFC in Jamaica. Wait, so wait. Can you say KFC is better? Than okay. I, all right. I'll say this. I'll say this. Wait, I'm have y'all ever eaten pop, uh, KFC in Jamaica? I don't believe it. Ain't no way, my no, boy. I'm telling you, no. it's different. It's no. But you know, how, you know how when we had, uh, what did we have? When we had Popeyes out in uh, oh. Barcelona, it just tasted different. It tasted, it tasted That's different. how it is in Jamaica. It tastes like real home cooking. Like, I know. and the last few times I had Popeyes, I'm not gonna lie, it has not been hidden. And you know it. We've been eating Popeyes together and being like, damn, we're wasting our calories today. Okay, that's because every time we go to Popeyes now, as of recently, we've been eating healthy, but every time we go, it's always about to close. So you know yeah. how I be when they about to close. Last like, time they literally only gave us one biscuit, y'all. They, they said we only got one biscuit left. Yeah. And they, and the guy tried to give us sweet tea that was already in a cup. He was like, oh, I just emptied this. Do you want this? I said, uh -uh, no, this is giving sus. Super sus, but y'all know I love me some Popeyes. So I'm always gonna choose Popeyes. I gotta definitely, definitely try. I gotta definitely try Popeyes or KFC in Jamaica, but. Yeah, I'm gonna take you there, baby. Don't okay. worry. Take Don't me. worry. Take me. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're here. Dr. Paz literally waited for me. I think they're closed. So he is amazing. He literally waited for me to come in because. Oh, let me shut the door for them. He waited. He said he was leaving. And I was like, please don't leave. We're almost here because I live so far from here. Dr. Paz. Hi. Hey, I'm sorry you hurt your leg. No, that sucks. What, how did you twist it? At home, yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, following the kids, the kids around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to do my exercise. I should say ski. I uh, know, doing something some fun. Sports right? or something. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm going to get an x ray real quick. Oh, yeah, x ray. Okay. Yeah. You gotta stay on there. Don't want you to get the extra. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't think so. My 
throat started hurting so bad because I was like dragging it down like this to like the lymph nodes to drain it or whatever. Well, it looks good. It doesn't look infected or anything like oh, that. Oh, perfect. The implant looks good on the X-ray. That's my implant over here. Literally, it's a screw in the bone. Gotta rinse my mouth. Can't have food in my mouth. Well, that's like my biggest like fear is going to the dentist and having like food like stuck in my teeth or something. I'm like, no, that's so gross. I was using, you know, those like uh, gua sha stones that you just like to massage your face. And I think it was like too early to do it on this side. Oh, it was hurting so bad. Like what? it didn't hurt while I was doing it, but the next day it hurt so bad. What is that, a massage stone? It's like a stone, yeah, that you use to like chisel your face. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up sending the link to Dr. Paws of me passing out. He was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> ah. It wasn't his fault though. It was my that's, fault for being like, in the car forever. Wow. I was like, well, honestly, I was like so shocked. I know. That it, this, uh, was so scary. It was scary. I mean, I think it was most scary, like mostly scary for Easy because she didn't know. No, for happening. her, not for yeah. me. I even, I even told you at the text. Like, yeah. I thought, my goodness, like she must have felt terrified especially falling down and hitting your head yeah she's still like kind of i think traumatized by it wow now that you find your wife comes in here oh yeah okay my wife my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> she mentioned herself like that. So oh, she said she's my wife? Okay. Because so like, I told her, let me go ask Natalie first if you could come in because of like anything. Like, yeah. Well, I'm her wife. <laughs> she was trying to make sure she could get her. Dang, maybe she got some plans. What's up, my boy? What's up? How you doing? How are you? Good. Long time no see. Everything is good. Sorry, I know your legs hurting and she got you working. No, 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 no. Look what she doing. I know. Causing a scene. I feel terrible. Why? Please. I'm staying late. Everything okay? What happened? It's fine. With the kids. He was actually jet skiing and he like went over a dolphin. You went over a dolphin? Yes. I wish I could have a better story. I was at home and. That's what's up, so what's up, man? You getting these stitches out or what? Man? I already took That's them out. Oh my no God. way, that quick? So my baby. Last time I was coming out of here, I was, Damn. I was turning up. I was turning up in the lobby. He was turning, he was twerking? He was twerking literally started working? dancing in the lobby. I didn't remember. I recorded stuff on my Snapchat and I went back and I was looking like, you a content creator, even when she under them drugs, man. Yeah. That's my baby. You better get that content look. So I was thinking, I know a lot of people were sitting here saying like, oh, easy, like you guys should know like CPR or whatever, just yeah. in case these situations happen. And sure. I freaking forgot my grandfather literally has been taking or teaching CPR classes for the past 15 years. And I'm like, oh, let's pull shoot. up. Yeah. Grandpa Garfield? Grandpa Garfield. Okay. Remember he told us that like hella yeah, times? I totally forgot. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, look, 444. Four, four. We've been seeing angel numbers all day. All day, so we should take this class so we don't see no angels anytime, anytime soon. soon. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So we go <laughs> go to my grandpa's house and you know take these CPR class lessons. I think that's super smart for us and me. If this happens or if anything happens and you got nieces and nephews, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so yeah. being on top okay. of it, you down? I'm super down, let's do it. I really want both of them and you don't want one. <laughs> Oh my so gosh, one, she's so one extra. Should, which one should I keep? We should give my boy Joe Samar one or not? Yes, uh, you need All right. to give Joe Samar one. I'm gonna give you one, bro. Back. You wanted some chips, bro? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I wanted All both right. of them. All right. All right. No. What's that? What's that? Chip? All right. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. All right. Good to me. Okay. Ready? Yeah. She loves chips way too much, y'all. This is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, which one? This is exciting. Which okay. hand? Which hand? Right, because the left one's always wrong. The right one? There you go, Cheetos. I said the right. You, this is my right. That right. Nah, you said the right. Oh. Yeah. Take your Cheetos. Here. <laughs> Damn. <Cheetos>. All <laughs> right, bro. You deserve, bro. Hello. Grandpa. What's going on, baby girl? How you doing? I'm doing. I'm doing. <laughs> So me and Natalie are kind of close towards your house and we was thinking, can we pull up on you? 
Anytime. 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 Absolutely. I'd be, love, be happy to see the both of you. How did I forget that you literally are like, you've been a CPR instructor, right? Since 2005. <laughs> Like, what? Is, that's so crazy. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna pull up on you, Grandpa, and uh, we want you to teach us some stuff. Maybe just like go over a little lesson. I don't know. Just something about CPR. Well, I'll be happy to take care of you guys. No problem. Okay. Yay. See you soon. All right, then. See you when you get here. All right, Grandpa. Later. Love you. All right, babe. Love you too. Bye bye. Okay. Honey, we're home. Stop knocking on my damn door. Hey, <laughs> Grandma. What's up? Hey, baby. How are you? Hi. Hey, baby. How this, are this, you? this YouTube and my boy Ghost Bar. <laughs> this is a cut. Oh, love you. Hi. Love you too, baby girl. Hey guys, as you may have seen before, I'm Easy and Natalie's grandpa. This evening, what we're going to be doing is going over a few of the algorithms dealing with CPR. With Natalie's most recent scare, Easy decided she would really like to learn CPR. So we're going to discover some of the attributes to CPR, and we're going to show you guys a couple of things. So pay close attention and see what goes on. Gotta wake up. That's Y'all know ambulances cost a lot, right? We got insurance. Y'all got what? We got insurance. <laughs> okay. You better use them. Because they're the best in the business, man. How do you not be scared when you see your girlfriend's eyes rolling to the back of her head? Dizzy, you know? So I was like, okay, man, we got to get you to the house. We got to get you to the bed. And as we're walking, like, look at her legs are trying to This is this is Gustavo Dudamal. Okay. Gustavo Dudamal is a South American individual who has risen to the point of becoming the Los Angeles Philharmonic Orchestra conductor. Okay. His job is to bring all of them together okay. in concert in unison and simpatico as they present a piece, a musical piece. I want you to see his behavior and his conduct as he pulls it together. Okay. That's what I want you to want. Well, he lit. <laughs> oh, I know the song, Baby Shark. <laughs> He's communicating to, to each and every individual musician when he's doing what he's doing. And believe it or not, he hears every individual note of every musician in there. That he could tell when either one of them off in any section of that orchestra. What does the clock say? Uh... <laughs> you know, baby? Yeah. Wait, hold on, wait. One, two, three. Hold on. One, two, three. Are you one of those that don't know how to tell clock? Or tell time with a regular clock? Wait. Natalie, do you know how to tell? No, wait, no, let me say it. Let me say it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten... Take a look. Look at the clock again. <laughs> ten twenty-five. Look at the clock, Joseph Mars. Ten twenty-five. On there, right? 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 Yes. Okay. Okay. It took me a little bit, that's all. It takes a little time. <laughs> I'll be dead. I'll be dead. Okay. It takes a little time. Alright. Wanna well, get back to the clock. Okay. Clock is stop. Stop. That's a symbolized symbolization of the heart stopping. Okay. When the heart stops, guess what? Mm. Else stops. The Your mind. Brain. Your brain, the mind. The brain. The brain. Okay. When the blood has brain going to it, you know how it behaves? It tells off. you your body what to do. Like that conductor. Mm. Oh, how he was like this? That mm. brain says, give it to me, baby. Mm -hmm. Give it to me, baby. And I'll tell everybody else what to do. Arm get to moving, leg get to moving, mm -hmm. body get to moving. So the two symbolism that I want you to understand is when the heart stops, mm -hmm. the brain stops. Got it. When the blood starts flowing, the brain becomes active. 
Mm. And you want to get that brain as active as that guy was. Okay. Heart disease is the number one cause of death in both men and women globally. Sheesh. The people who came to see you, that was a pre-hospital provider. Okay, okay. They were the ones who arrived on scene to ensure that everything was okay. Right. Mm -hmm. What you did was perfect. Oh, thank you. Knowing what you knew, yeah. to at least keep her on the ground. Right, right. That was very, very good for you to do that. Those things that they stuck to you, mm -hmm. those machines tell them what they need to know yeah they need everybody out of the way so that they can perform those type of things well yeah and it's easy to take offense because you don't know what's going on I'm like let me but back there is, in this situation yeah that's they're trying to tell you you need to stay back yeah because we need to do this because mm -hmm. we don't know what's going on right but this machine will tell us what's going on mm -hmm. and we can get that um taken care of and we have a better understanding mm -hmm. okay you want to center yourself in the center of the torso of the individual. Okay. I normally take my dominant hand, place it to the center of the chest. I either overlap or connect my fingers. I raise up here. I'm basically at the upper torso and I want to push down using my shoulders and my upper torso body weight. Like, so in the circumstance where if you're out and there's a woman, you don't know her, she passes out, you see her heart it. isn't, she isn't, she's not breathing or, you know, erratic breath, whatever. Would you actually take her shirt off and her bra? And if like, you're going to use an AED. Oh, yeah. but it, the, but the difference is, it, 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 see, you're taking the, the clothing off of the skin mm -hmm. because you want the adhesive That's padding what, from the AED. Electrocutes yeah. them? Exactly. Mm -hmm. This was going on the mannequin there. Oh wow. Squeeze the nose and blow two breath. But okay. in real life. That's the old fashioned way. Okay. That's the old fashioned way. Okay. My recommendation with hands only CPR, mm -hmm. unless you have a mouth barrier. Yeah. Do not put your mouth on a stranger. Okay. If it's a loved one, it's your family member, then that's okay. Yeah. Okay. In a lock, overlap. Get my kneecaps up against the torso. Press down. Okay. So you want to come up just a little bit right there. Oh. Okay. And you want to go down just a little bit right there. Okay, back to the compressions. You're looking good, easy. Nelly, how's your hand feeling? It hurts. <laughs> yeah, it does, huh? Okay. You gotta be strong. Keep going. Dang, can you do it with it? You have to do it. This is hurting my wrist. Okay. Keep those shoulders straight. But if they're not responding, as I said, on the same side that you're on, do a carotid pulse check yeah. mm -hmm. on the same side that you're on. Don't go any more than 10 seconds because what you got to realize now is you can't afford to waste time. Mm -hmm. Remove clothing from person's chest. So it tells you to remove the clothing. Then take the clothing off. Take the clothing off. So if you want to ask for a folding on one, you might as well ask for some scissors, huh? Chest. Okay. Shown. Look at the illustration on the pads and see where they go. Attach the other one. Okay. Plug in connector. Plug in connector. No. Check right connector the yellow and lighters. pads. Push it down hard. Okay. Analyzing rhythm. Everyone stand clear. Stand clear. The reason for that because it's going to send electrical shock through there. If you're touching it, it will shock start this biased. hard, but it'll stop Charging. yours. Oh. Man. So everybody Everyone's stand back. Stand clear. It's charging. Everyone stand clear. Everybody stand clear. The shock button. Push the shock, shock delivered. Begin five cycles of CPR. Now go ahead and do the CPR. This or nope. the pushing? The compressions, yeah. Get close. And just listen to this the whole time. You keep doing that until it tells you to stop. Go, oh, baby. This is me. Save me. One minute of CPR remain. You got it, baby. Focus. Analyzing rhythm. Everyone stand clear. Stand clear. I'm serious because you might have to do it again. <laughs> you ready to shock? Everyone stand clear. Push the shock button. 
Push the shock button, yellow button. Shock delivered. Begin five cycles of CPR. What if they wake up during this? Is that you Don't just it. stop or what? Yeah. Okay. Come on, baby, save that life. Save that life. Okay, try to slow down just a little bit. Your legs need to be closer. Yeah, get it. There you go, right One there. minute and 30 seconds of CPR remain. One minute and 30 seconds. Don't get tired, come on. I'm not, look, I'm gonna take green. Look at your solid greens there. Yeah, good job. Great. That means your depth and compression is really good. Good job. One minute of CPR remain. Did he die? No, it's analyzing it. Oh, it's red. <laughs> <laughs> it only turned red when he walked back. Oh, stop. Save a life, like, and I just like, at a point when I was starting to get tired, I just was like, okay, go to a meditative state, because if you can just slow your breath and just close your eyes yeah. and just focus on what yeah. you're doing. And you think about the fact that, like you just mentioned a moment ago, that, you know, you're, in the, you're involved with trying to save someone else's yeah. life. Mm -hmm. A loved one, a neighbor, someone important to you, someone that's important to someone else. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what it's all about. That's what I was thinking the whole time. Like, cause I feel like, the, imagine being frantic so you can go fast, but it can ruin it. So I'm just like, breathe and not panic. That's yeah. what I was thinking about. Just keeping yeah. that pace. Cause the minute and 30 seconds, that's a long time. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But you gotta keep and it. Imagine and imagine if you're there by yourself with yeah. that person, that means you're gonna have to keep doing it. And there's not a machine telling you to stand by and administering yeah. shock. And right. If there's lights. not, then you're just doing 120, then 120 more, then 120 more. And just hope that help comes fast enough. CPR uncle rhythm for an adult, a child, which is somewhere between eight, nine years old, okay? and then the infant. The algorithm is the same. And when you give an infant compression, you want to give compressions with your two fingers, mm -hmm. like this. Oh, wow. In the wow. center of the chest cavity. Because you can keep kill the infant? Yeah, because you don't want to add that pressure like this on the infant, because their chest cavity is not as strong as an adult's. So you just want to use the two fingers. It's the same compression, 30 compressions. And here you want to only go to um, um, one and a half inch, okay? okay? Five, I'm sorry, when, you, when you're dealing with a choking patient. Five. Five, okay. Then, five back slap. Okay, back over. Five. This is for a choking victim, okay. For regular compression, um, baby who is out, maybe they have choked and no longer breathing then you want to continue the compressions and the back slaps mm -hmm. until it's expelled. So even if you don't know for sure if they choked, you just assume they may, might have. So right. you do that. Well, you, you, you want to listen to the airway also. Because mm -hmm. oftentimes you can tell by whether you can hear them breathing or not, okay? You want to come in, you want to take your left hand, open it up, take your right hand, make a ball fist, cup your hand here, you want to bring it in right at the belly button and up. You want to do that as hard as you can. Sure Generally on about the sixth, seventh time that you do it, whatever's in the mouth will expel. You hear that breathing. Yeah. And when you hear that, as opposed to Okay, you know then that there's something blocking the airway. Ball it, go to the belly button, pull it in, pull it in and up. Yeah, we're doing it in one quick movement. Now quicker, quicker, quicker. Stop hopping on there. Yeah, I'm like, wait, I'm trying, wait, I'm trying, how do you do it? Oh my God. There you go, there you go. That's what I'm there talking you go, about. Baby. Yeah, oh, okay. that would expel it then, okay? Don't hurt me, babe. There you go, right there. Yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so it's basically almost upside down. Almost upside down. Pull it right, yeah. Yeah, because see, the gravity is gonna pull it out. When you slap it, it's gonna give it more force to, to force it out as well. So it's between the shoulder blades exactly. and you're just palming. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
angle, more of an angle. Like kind of yeah, upside there down. <sighs> yeah, and look and see. Yeah. If they're unconscious. Okay, and see. We're not breathing. <sighs> Now, infants have pass also. Mm. So you got AED for the infants as well. So you can see here, one goes in the front and one goes in the back. Oh. And basically what it's doing is sending electrical current through the body. Mm. Okay, so you got an AED. These are what you call attenuators, mm -hmm. which are for the infant and those are for adult and child. Okay. Now, if you only have one set, doesn't make a difference what the victim is. Okay. Use that one set. Mm -hmm. I just want to say thank you so much, Grandpa. I feel so much more educated and not ignorant. This was so helpful. Like, I never did CPR in my life. So it was just like to even do it and be taught it and then actually be good just like that. It's like, dang, it could be that simple if you learn from the best. Mm -hmm. Of course. You know what you I'm know. saying? It could be that yeah. simple. When you when you got an OG, triple OG, triple triple teaching you, well, you can save a life like that. It's technique, but yeah. I have to tell you that more than anything, the instructions that I've learned over the years through American Heart Association mm -hmm. has been beneficial and number one throughout the entire world. Wow. It saves lives. CPR saves lives. Yeah, saves I can't lives. believe that we didn't learn this in school. This should yes. be something you should learn in school. Like exactly. everyone should have this information. Well, you know, in, in, in Europe, it's part of the curriculum in high school. Yeah. They do not graduate their students without taking CPR. That's crazy. The U.S. wants us to depend on, you know, I feel like- Or just let them, people die. They, I just feel like they want us to depend on the medical industry instead of teaching you this, because that's way more important than a lot of, than geometry, in my opinion. Well, I think it's just as important as geometry. Okay. Yeah, Touché. Yeah. they're both <laughs> as equally as important. But, um, but which one but, would you rather know in this situation, geometry or CPR? Well, I know them both, so they both. Yeah, you know, but if you had to important. choose life or death, CPR, or geometry. Well, I'm not going to try and talk mathematics to you if you're <laughs> unconscious. Okay? Jesus. Exactly. I'm going to perform so, CPR. Exactly, okay. CPR. They should have taught us it over geometry. Hey, I'm not using What it. is the circumference? <laughs> Are you good? Do you know the, the square root? <laughs> That was dope. Thank you so much, Grandma, for teaching us. I'm super oh, excited. Pleasure. I hope I never have to use it, but in the event, if I have to, I will be at least somewhat prepared. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. feel so like blindsided. I yeah. feel like, okay, maybe even if I'm not doing it exactly right, it might do something to help. Well, I'm glad to say that um, I can officially issue Easy and Natalie their CPR class certificate for completing the class. And after doing so well, Easy. What? We got a certificate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gave you yours there as well. So I'm, I'm so, so proud of you both for doing so well. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So you guys go out there and save a life, okay? Go save a life. That's Aunt, what it's all about. Auntie, you know how to save a life? Sure do. You do? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got a certification? Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. My grandpa here, certified OG, triple OG, y'all. I hope this inspired you to yes. go take a course and make sure that you are equipped to save a life if you have to. Wow. And by all means, grandpa is always available to come to you. Yeah. To CPR. Come on now. Like and subscribe, y'all.